Some people like to annotate their books, whether it's for school or for personal use. It's really annoying when your writing utensil disappears on you. Hello, I'm Allie, literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read. Today, I'm gonna to show you three types of bookmarks that you can make that will keep those pens and pencils close by. Would you like to see? Apply interfacing to both pieces of the main fabric. Fold the pocket piece in half, then press. Open it up, then apply interfacing to the bottom. Top stitch the fold of the pocket piece, then along the bottom edge, layer in order. Main outer, pocket, elastic, main inner. Clip the three sides together that you will sew in the next step. Use a 1 quarter inch seam allowance and make sure to backstitch a couple times over the elastic to reinforce it. Clip the corners, turn right sides out, poke out the corners, press flat. Then tuck in the open end 1 quarter inch, press again. Wrap the elastic around to the open end, tuck in 1 quarter inch and clip in place. Top stitch starting at the bottom and making sure to back stitch a few times over the elastic. Using small scissors or a flat object can help push the thicker corners through the feed. Apply interfacing to both back pieces and one front piece. Sandwich the elastic between the two back pieces. Clip the back pieces and front pieces right sides together. Sew around three sides making sure to backstitch over the elastic a few times. Repeat for the main piece. Clip the corners, turn right sides out, poke out the corners. Press flat. Tuck in the open end one quarter inch. Press again. Wrap the elastic around to the open end, tuck in one quarter inch and clip in place. Repeat for the front, skipping the elastic step. Top stitch starting at the open end and making sure to back stitch a few times over the elastic. Repeat for the front, skipping the elastic step. Use your favorite marking tool to draw four evenly spaced lines. You'll do this for both the front and back. Match up your marks and pin in place. Sew and backstitch over each line as well as top stitching at each end.
Place the fabric right sides together. Clip the longer edges together. With a 1 quarter inch seam allowance, sew the clip sides together. Clip the four corners, then turn right sides out and press flat. With the main fabric up, match the zipper edge with the top raw edge, zipper teeth down. Fold the zipper over toward the bottom of the fabric. Match the second zipper edge to the raw edge. With your zipper foot in place, sew as close to the zipper teeth as possible. Move the fabric to the other side and sew the second side of the zipper. From one side of the zipper, measure one inch over. Fold flat and press. Take care not to melt your zipper. Make sure your zipper is open for turning. Slide in the elastic, lining it up along the raw edges and next to the zipper on the wider side of the pouch. Sew the open sides with a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Clip the corners, trim the zipper, finish the edges. Turn the pouch right sides out and top stitch all around. Pretty genius, right? These can make great gifts for teachers and students too. Give this video a thumbs up if this solves the disappearing pencil dilemma for you. I also have one more pen holder idea that includes a magnet, so pop on over here to see how that one's made. We'll see you next time.